All right, Ron. Tonight we're getting our first look at body camera video of a dramatic rescue of an eight year old boy and his brother after getting shocked by a downed power line in Warren. It shows officers rushing in to help the boys in a really, really dangerous situation here. And today those officers got an award for their heroism that is rarely handed out. Let's get out to Ty Steele to walk us through what happened. Ty. Well, this is the scene where that heroic rescue happened two years ago in August after that big storm knocked down a power line right above me, right in front of McKinley Elementary School. Had it not been for the actions of those officers, medical professionals say that boy likely would have lost his life. But get this, the humility of these officers off the charts here. The department didn't even know about the extent of their actions until after they reviewed that footage that we just showed you. They kept the whole thing quiet. But tonight, everyone in Metro De Detroit knows about what they did and the award that they got for it. Officer David Chapman and Corporal Daniel Rose will be honored with the prestigious Carnegie Medal for Heroism. An historic event for the city of Warren at City Hall Atrium on Thursday. <laughs> North America's highest honor for heroism. Going to these brave men, the only two in Michigan to receive the award this year. Stay back, stay back. Where's the wire? Where's the wire? Right that wire right there, Dave, right in front of your face. It all stems from this dramatic scene caught on body cam video after the officers arrived. I got to get him, right? I got to get him. That's an eight-year-old boy on the ground, unconscious and severely burned. Is he hot? After trying to swing on a downed 4,800-volt power line in Warren on Topher Road near an elementary school in August of 2022. The boy's 10-year-old brother had tried to pull him off and also got shocked. Take a look. The video shows the two officers going into the taped off area. The wire's still live. Jacob. Jacob. Pulling the boy to safety. Getting shocked themselves in the process. One more. Get one more back there with him. Then rushing both brothers to Ascension St. John Hospital. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. The eight year old listed in critical condition, but survived. They responded without hesitation, without thoughts for their own safety. Back at City Hall, the officers humbly accepting the high praise from the top brass, the mayor, all with their families right there to witness the joyous That's occasion. This medal means everything to me. Um, I'm able to do what, you know, young kids from where I am from are not able to do show them that, that, it, that there is a way out. Both heroes grateful to have the opportunity to serve a community they love so much. I, I think it's good for the community to see that we're out here working hard, trying to protect and save everybody. I think it's really important for my, my family to be here, to be able to see me and see what their dad does on a day to day basis. And keep in mind, this Carnegie Award is probably the biggest heroism award you can get in all of North America. A little more than a dozen people out of thousands of applicants won that award. Those two officers, the only two in Michigan that won that award this year. As for that boy who was injured two years ago, the extent of his injuries and his identity still unknown at the request of the family. We hope he is doing well. Live here in the city of Warren, Ty Steele, Local 4, yeah. back to you. Incredible job. Okay, Ty, thank you.